Hi, I'm Herrick Kimball, and today in this video I want to tell you about the four advantages to ladder blocking as opposed to full stud blocking when framing interior partition walls. This is an example of ladder blocking. I have two by four blocks between two studs, 16 inch centers, bottom to top. Some sort of corner blocking is needed when walls meet at right angles. It's needed for drywall support. This is my pretend sheet of drywall and when it comes time to put drywall on this wall, I need some support in the corner. A full stud, which is a fairly common framing method, here and here on either side of this stud will give that support. But ladder blocking will also give that support and there are four advantages to it. Even though there's a space here, my experience has been, and I've done this for many years in remodeling situations, my experience has been that if you have the blocks at 16 inches on center, this gap, unsupported, is really no problem at all. Advantage number one with ladder blocking is that you're going to save two full length studs. You're going to save money because you're not using two full length studs. These blocks can and should be cut out of cutoffs and twisted or warped lumber. This is a great place to put those kinds of uh, two by four pieces. Advantage number two to ladder blocking is that on an exterior wall or even an interior wall, if you have insulation in that wall, it really doesn't interfere with it all that much. Advantage number three to ladder blocking is that when it comes to run your wires, you don't have to drill through a stud on either side. It's just a whole lot easier. Advantage number four to ladder blocking is that it allows you to use a stud that has a warp to it that you would never want to put into the main stud layout. Let me explain. Once your blocks are in, and you should put the blocks in before this stud goes in, once those blocks are in, you can snap a line or draw a, a plumb line on the blocks top to bottom. Then you can start at the bottom with your twisted or warped two by four and fasten to the bottom block and work your way up and you can use a clamp, a simple uh, clamp like this to pull the 2x4 one way or the other and get it right on your line. You can use wood that you wouldn't otherwise use. Now I want to say a quick word about 16 inch center layout. If I do that consistently, and I do that consistently, I know where my fasteners need to go. I can take my tape measure and I can measure them out if needed when it comes time to put my drywall fasteners in. Now I'm going to give you a quick tip. Not everybody needs this tip, I understand, but a lot of people get confused about laying out things on center and it doesn't have to be confusing. In this instance I have three and a half inch wide pieces of wood. Half of three and a half is one and three quarter. So to lay out 16 inch centers, all you gotta do is put your tape on the bottom, go to your 16, 32, 48 inch layouts, that's 16 inches on center, and instead of marking the center, just go one and three quarters inch more and mark an X below. That's gonna give you 16 inch layout. I'm going to go six, 16 inches, visually add one and three quarters, mark it, X below. 32, add one and three quarters visually, mark it, X below. That's a real simple way of getting 16 inch centers top to bottom without a lot of confusion. So now to conclude this video, I'm going to get behind the camera and then just very quickly show you the other places on this project where I have used ladder blocking. Here's the view, bottom to top, where I just was, shows the blocking in place. All right, we can come right around here, and I have another wall that intersects there. 
done the exact same thing. Here we have an interior wall meeting another interior wall at a right angle and we have the ladder blocking in place as you can see. Okay this is the last example. This is short ladder blocking and I will end this view by showing you a close-up of something really stupid that I did. A mistake that I made. The blocks are fine here that I'm showing you top to bottom but the mistake I made is right here. You see these two holes and two holes here. What I did was I put my ladder blocking out here where no wall is going to intersect and I had to take all the ladder blocks out and move them over on the other side. Yeah, so I realized after I did that that it was time to hang it up for the day. I was tired. Okay everyone, thanks a lot for watching.